two Mac OS features that are a little bit difficult to demo on a one screen here, but I did want to talk about them, are the ability to hand off information from your mobile device, like an iPhone or an iPad, to your Mac. And the other part of it is continuity between all of your devices. So this is something that was introduced a few Mac OS versions ago and has just improved every version that's been released. And essentially, it allows you to do things like we see here, where you get a phone call on your iPhone, but it also shows up in the top right corner of your Mac. So you could accept your phone uh, call from either of those devices. And I use this very frequently. I'll be editing on my Mac. I'll receive a phone call, and I don't want to answer it. So I'll decline it by hitting the decline button in the little notification that comes up at the top right on my Mac. And by doing that, it stops the phone from ringing where it is across the room, and everything just stays in sync. So this is something that works using iCloud and a couple of the other features that are built into your devices. And I strongly recommend checking it out if you have not already. A few of the other things it's able to do is like continuity camera, where you can actually use your iPhone or iPad's camera inside of apps on your uh, computer. So for example, you can be here in pages, click on one of these drop zones and be able to take a picture that then is automatically placed in that document. So this just saves you a couple steps. I mean, all these things could have been really fast. You could have taken the picture on your phone and then either emailed it to yourself or even airdropped it over to your Mac and then bring it into the document. But what continuity camera is doing is just saving you a couple steps. It knows the connection is already there between your iPhone and your Mac, so why not let it take the picture and put it directly inside of the document? The next thing that you can do that's showing up here, uh, we talked about a little bit before, is the phone calls. And this is what it looks like when you answer the phone call on your Mac. You'll be able to see the person you're talking to. You can end the call, mute it, and you can even change it into a FaceTime call if the person you're talking to has that capability. So a very nice way to, to sync back and forth, and I find this very cool. I mean, you can just start making calls, placing them using the FaceTime app that's built in uh, to your Mac there. In addition to that, uh, if you're using the Messages app, you can also sync text messages, which are SMS messages, between your phone and your computer. And that, instead of just using Wi-Fi or an internet connection, it's actually using the cell service from your phone to send those messages back and forth. And the other part of all of this is handoff. And what handoff lets you do is take things that you've started on one device, like they're showing here, they've started writing an email on their phone, and they're now able to continue writing that message on the Mac. So handoff is another feature that is kind of enabled by all these features in your phone and, and your device to be able to talk back and forth. Um, a smaller part of this is Apple Pay. If you have a Mac with a... Uh, touch ID sensor on it with the touch bar. Uh, you can use the, that device and, and be able to pay with Apple Pay right on it. But if you don't, like most of us, you can now use your iPhone or your Apple Watch as a way to pay for items that you purchase through the web. So if you're on a, a website that supports Apple Pay, uh, you'll be able to say buy with Apple Pay. And then on your phone, you'll get an option to verify that payment, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one, uh, less important, I would say, for for those of you with the newer devices, but if you do have an Apple Watch, you can set it up to automatically unlock your Mac when you get close to it with your Apple Watch. And for if you're an editor, if you're in editing suites that are not yours, you're not really gonna be able to use this, but if it's your own editing suite, this can actually be pretty helpful because you can lock your computer when you walk away from it. And then when you come back and sit down at the chair, because you have your Apple Watch, if you've enabled this feature, the Mac will unlock. You don't have to type in your password to get into it, which is uh, pretty nice. So um, those are a couple of the features between uh, handoff and continuity. You do get one clipboard, so you copy something on one device, you can paste it on another. Um, and these, these features are, are really nice and, and can be used in your workflow if you're not already using them. Strongly recommend checking them out, trying them out. One way I use the universal clipboard, if you're following me on Instagram at Final Cut Pro Help, I've been posting shortcut posts, and to create those, I'll usually do all of the writing on, a, on my Mac here. So I'll create the caption, for example, for the post on my Mac, 
I'll then select that caption and just do Command C to copy it. And then when I go to actually post the video on Instagram, I can just paste in that text right into the uh, caption part on Instagram from my phone or my iPad, and then I'm able to publish that post. So these features are small. They're not anything that I would say is major, but if you're using them, it can definitely save you a lot of time by using continuity and um, and the handoff features between your mobile devices. Obviously, if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad, you're just using your Mac, these aren't features you will necessarily benefit from now, but just know that they're there and take advantage of them in the future. Uh, if you have any other specific questions, don't hesitate. Leave them down in the comments. If there's something else you want to see, post that down there as well. Otherwise, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the next video coming out.